Well, I'm sure with just a moment, I want you to listen to the soundbite from yesterday's press conference. And there is a question I would like you uh, to answer afterwards. Take a listen to the civil society organization from their press conference yesterday. In addition to government failures in the economic sphere, is a heightened insecurity in the country. On a daily basis, communities, villages, and towns are attacked by bandits and insurgents and terrorists with the security services unable to respond in any responsible manner. Multiple calls by state governors, the national legislature, civil society, and citizens for the sack of the ineffective leadership of security agencies have been ignored by the president, President Buhari. Yes. This response is made more saddening by the fact that the leadership of almost all the security agencies in the country remain in office well beyond their time limits. Human rights in the country remain under serious threats with free speech and free expression constantly threatened. Situation calls for the following. The Nigerian government should genuinely seek to implement measures that restores citizens' confidence in its ability to govern. Uh, repeatedly, citizens, citizens groups, the National Assembly, state governors have called for attention to be paid to the nature and leadership of our security services, and the president has not done so. We call on the president to respect the Constitution, to ensure that security chiefs who have exceeded their terms of office are allowed to go in order that the security services can be made much more effective and efficient. Madam Sheo, sure, how do you react to that? Well, let me say that whoever that uh, spokesperson is, is a liar. Because uh, there is no section of the law that states a term of office for service chiefs. Please recall the recent interview by General Alani Akirinati, one of the foremost military commanders in the country. He made clear in an interview that they serve at the pleasure of the president. If the president is happy, is satisfied with their performance, it's all up to him. Opinions can be expressed by people. And the fact, in fact, that this gentleman is sitting before cameras and dishing out a lot of these lies, it's also evidence that it's free speech in the country. Nothing more than this can prove that there is free expression and of free speech in the country. So the service chief's matter has been politicized. The president determines who is service commander at his pleasure. Even the National Assembly can merely make recommendations. They cannot force the hand of the president on this matter. All responsibility ends at his table. These things are, are at, his, at his beck and call. So therefore, he determines if they continue in office or they stop. As for other things he has mentioned, security and all of that, well, we know the country we inherited. And the Nigerians are witnesses to that. Because if he had been speaking in Abuja, he probably would have, would have been missing church every Sunday. Because the bombers would have been feared to have to, mosques were empty. We also, the bus stops were empty. The National Day celebration in this country at Eagle Square was bombed. The United Nations was bombed. And for somebody to shamelessly sit down there and say that there is an absence of security in the criminality, yes, there is a bandit and all of them, and they are being tackled. They're being tackled. And uh, for God's sake, there is no nation anywhere in the world where there is no criminality. Even those who took over from us and we took over from and are criticizing us cannot tell us that when they served, there was no kidnapping, there was no banditry, there was no insurgency. We have reduced all of that to a much lower level.